Ahead of the 2023 elections, presidential aspirant Kingsley Maralu on the platform of the African Democratic Party has met with the former chairman of the Independence National Electoral Commission, Professor Atahiru Jega, over the need for a thorough Fed Force movement. A foremost political economist, Professor Pat Utomi and Jega, among others, had in October last year unveiled a non-partisan coalition under the aegis of the National Consultative Front designed to govern support for legislation for the electronic transfer of election results. Now, just last week, Wednesday, Jega had said that Nigeria is in the process of total collapse, describing the 2023 general elections as critical for Nigeria's unity. Meanwhile, Moralu, who is a former Central Bank of Nigeria's deputy governor, had declared his intention to contest the 2023 presidential election under the African Democratic Congress platform. We're now being joined by political affairs analyst Olu Kayade Salakoma. Thanks for joining us on the news now. Yeah, thank you very much for having me on the show. All good right. Evening, uh, yeah, good evening to you. Yeah, we do appreciate your time. Let's talk about this um, third force movement now. You know, the former deputy governor of the CBN uh, has met, you know, with the uh, former mm -hmm. INEC chairman, uh, you know, Atahiri Jega to strategize on um, just the direction this particular movement should go. In your opinion, what are the tasks ahead of this particular movement? They seem to want to salvage Nigeria from the doldrums. They say that um, the country has fallen. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the idea of floating a third force political movement um, has never been in doubt, a bad one. It has always been um, a child of necessity for Nigeria's democracy. Because normally democracy is supposed to be about competition, political competition, you know giving rooms for more competitive tendencies and to engender uh, more involvement, free, free will involvement of Nigerians. So those that are promoting the idea of thought force are not wrong. That is what the tenet of democracy is all about. It is allowed. And uh, it is another. But as far as I am concerned, they need to do more work because the nature of the uh, the peculiar nature of Nigeria's democracy has to do with not just uh, promoting the idea of floating the political movement or party on social media or on TV, but getting it to go down to the consciousness of uh, the grassroots people in Nigeria. And that is the power that the APC and the PDP have been able to uh, gather for themselves as political parties in Nigeria, on the lips of every Nigerian, um, let me say, common Nigerian today, grassroots Nigerian today, is the name of APC and PDP. The common Nigerians, grassroots Nigerians, are not familiar with the names of any other political party apart from APC and PTP. Whereas, there are more than 18, 19 uh, political parties in Nigeria legally, um, you know, uh, you know, legally registered by I political parties in Nigeria. Mm. But on the lips of every Nigerian is the APC and PTP. 
So those that are promoting the idea of thought force should go beyond coming on TV are going on social media to promote their ideas. All right, Mr. 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 Salako, if I have to bolt in now. That Mrs. must be a household name as well. All right. Yeah, Mr. Salako, can you hear me? All right, Mr. Salaka, if I have to vote in now, you've talked about um, the, the third force uh, going beyond um, the doing the activities on social media. But when they unveiled sometime in October last year, specifically they say, or they said, that the third force would be a nonpartisan coalition you know, under the aegis of the NC, that's the National Consultative Front. But right now, you have rightly said that uh, on the lips of most Nigerians, uh, the political parties you know, that they know or recognize are the PDP and the uh, APC. Just how do you think uh, the, this new uh, front that the NCF can actually champion you know, their cause you know, without being partisan as it is? Because if uh, we we'll talk about um, elections in 2023, they have to you know, maybe sort of push you know, their agenda through a political party. Just how do they go about this? Well, uh, thank you very much. You see, for any political movement to be, to, be, to be well accepted across the length and breadth of Nigeria, to get down to the consciousness of every Nigerian, every look and cranny of the country, for, wi for, 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 for wide and expansive acceptance, and um, support, approval. It must have the element of those those money bags, or let me say money involved. Nigerian, obviously Nigerians don't associate or identify or patronize political parties which won't be able to pay, bring that money to pay for their involvement and patronage. And that is why it has been very, very difficult for other political parties. There was a time in Nigeria when we had over 90 political parties. Why were Nigerians not patronizing those political parties? Because certain money bags Nigerians uh, uh, were not involved in the running of those political parties. So for this third force political movement to be widely accepted, to be a record, uh, a political party that could be that could be reckoned with by the wider acceptance of Nigerians, then I think money has to be involved. They shouldn't just they shouldn't just stay on advocacy. Talking, consulting, meeting people and talking to people. They should know that politics has to do with money. There are some Nigerians they must have to bring in to bank to bankroll the, the, the financial expenses of the survival and expansion of the party. The third force is a very good idea. And let me tell you this. That idea of the third force was the idea of two people. Two people in Nigeria in 2014. And that is this Oluka that is talking to you and veteran Wale Okuli. It was the idea of the two of us in 2014, veteran Olawale Okuni and Oluka we muted the idea. And we tried to reach out to a lot of Nigerians, where many Nigerians, politically conscious Nigerians, to be part of this, to be part of it, to buy into it. But unfortunately, we realized then that a lot of Nigerians were not interested because the factor of 
who to bankroll the financial expenses of how to grow the party. The movement was not involved. So, all right, the factor and getting certain Nigerians, politically prominent Nigerians, also to come to the side of the third force political movement is also a factor. All right, Mr. Salako. Now, let me let me take it one step further, Mr. Salako. If I should take it one step yeah. further, you have identified the issue of um, bringing prominent Nigerians, the issue of um, funding and, and bank bankrolling the movement. But then again, uh, this uh, how did they circumvent all of these issues of uh, you know uh, zoning and all of that that is plaguing the countries and most political parties right now? Because from what we have um, just read, the NCF is partnering the ADC and that uh, they actually demanding a power shift to the southeast. No, sorry. On on moral ground. Hello, can you hear me? Go ahead. On moral ground, the Southeast is justified to be agitating for power shift, the presidential power to shift to their region. But the fact of the, the matter is the peculiar nature of the Nigerian politics is beyond that sentiment at this very point in time. The Southeast has been playing their national politics conspicuously inside a, one of the two prominent political parties in Nigeria. And that is the PDP, the People's Democratic Party in Nigeria. I would, I would, have, I would have preferred or be comfortable for the PDP to keep pressing it on the leadership of PDP to reward their loyalty, their loyalty of over 20 years in that party with the ticket, the presidential ticket of that party around this time. Not in a party where PDP has not shown Besides that, besides that, if the Southeast politicians have been playing their politics well, then it shouldn't be a problem for any of the two political parties to willingly give them their ticket. All right. The, the, the FPC is not willing to give Southeast. The PDP is not willing to give Southeast. Then the Southeast will sit down and think that there is something wrong with the nature of their national politics. Under normal circumstances, the PDP is supposed to be willing. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.